crazy tour stories. You know, I'd have to say probably when I was out in Dubai, I was performing out there and um, it's kind of where I realized the power of power because we, we end up hanging out with a local kid out there who, his name is Khaled, by the way, he's, he's a cool person, but um, over there, your, your stature is, is told by your license plate number. So the lower your license plate number is, more the higher your family is on the, on the chain, you know? So the locals out there control everything. And so this guy was number 38. So everywhere we went, it was just like, people would move over on the road for him. He'd be able to park anywhere he want. Valley wouldn't even park his car anywhere. They'd just leave it right there in front. He told us one time we were driving down the road, he's like, you want to pick up girls? This is how we do it. Pull up in front of them, let them see the license plate, pull back to the side. All of a sudden they're going to come up. He's like, I guarantee they're going to come up and roll down their window and wave. Sure enough, we pulled up in front of the car, came back out. They rolled down the window, waved. We looked at him like, ah, close your window. We kept going, you know, but it was cool, man, because everywhere we went, like, you know, that Burj Al, Al, Al Arab uh, hotel, the one that looks like a sailboat, you can't go there unless you're staying there or if you have like a tour. But if you're under 100, 100 or lower with the license plate, you can go. You know, so we were able to just go in there, meet a lot of people. It was cool. Then he took us around, man, showed us some things. He took us to his dad's yacht. Man, I'm talking about seven bedroom, seven bath yacht with a live-in staff. I was like, man, we need to shoot a music video next time we're out here for this. But that was pretty crazy, man, just to see the whole different side of the world. You know, I'm Middle Eastern myself, so being out in the Middle East for the first time, it was just an experience that I, I'll never forget in my whole life, you know. It was just crazy seeing that the power of that statue. The craziest part of it, though, let me backtrack on that. We were driving, he wanted to get a, uh, something from a liquor store. So we pulled up next to a liquor store and there was just some random guy walking, just a random guy, didn't work there or nothing. He honked the horn, the guy looked at him, saw the license plate, he's like, oh, what's up? He's like, hey, go inside and get me a, a soda or something, this and that. The guy's like, okay, went inside, bought a soda for him, he gave him some money, then done. You know, just some random guy. So it was cool, man, just to see that kind of the kind of power that some people have out there in the world. So another wild tour story, I guess, let's go stateside here. You know, we were doing a West Coast promo run a couple of years ago, and we were in Sacramento, and it was the night that Donald Trump got elected. You know, so we were at this bar. And all of a sudden they announced Donald Trump is the president. And you could just like hear the commotion between the people and you didn't know what people were liking it or not. But then when we went to San Francisco that night, stayed in our hotel, there was protest of people just marching down the street, like, you know, fuck Donald Trump, this and that. And it was just something I'd never seen before. It was mostly young kids, you know, most of them were like, I would say Hispanic kids, but it was thousands of them just marching up and down the street, protesting this thing. You know, we're out here doing this music stuff, but then there's real life politics going on. So that was just something that I'll never forget while being out on the road. Memorable career moment. I would say being an official performer at South by Southwest last year, um, I debuted my, my new single, the Pulled Up Fresh song. And when I did that song, the, the energy that I felt from the crowd and the response that I got afterwards where everybody would come in and run up to me and like, wow, well, you, you did that. You know, you flipped that beat, you did that song and it's incredible. Had guys from Philly running up, like, hey man, we're from Philly. You, wow, bro, that's a Fresh Prince. You gotta get that to Will Smith right away, this and that. And, and that was cool, you know, but up until recently, the, I'd say the most, the thing I'm most proud of right now is being nominated for that San Diego Music Award for best hip, best hip hop and rap because it shows that your city's actually finally now got your back, you know? So that, that's kind of one of the moments for me.